this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review The Life Ahead, the third feature directed by Eduardo Ponti, starring his mother, Sophia Loren. Uh, notably, it is the first starring role uh, for Sophia Loren in a film uh, in a decade. Uh, she last appeared in Rob Marshall's Nine. Uh, of course, she had a television film somewhere in there, and then uh, was featured in Ponti's short film, The Human Voice. Uh, of course, a, a version of the Jean Cocteau play, which was recently redone again by Pedro Almodovar, Matilda Swinton this year. Uh, so The Life Ahead is actually a remake of a 1977 film starring Simone Signore called Madame Rosa, directed by Moshe Mizraki, that won an Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film and won Signore a uh, Caesar in an excellent performance. She's an ex-prostitute living in Pigalle uh, who takes care of the abandoned children of other prostitutes. Um, but uh, that the, the sex worker portion of it is deleted in this modern-day Italian version um, where Sophia Loren is, again like in the original, a Holocaust survivor who is taking care of some children uh, to kind of subsidize her income. Uh, she comes to inherit Momo, played by Ibrahima Gaye, uh, who is a, an 11 year old orphan, Muslim orphan. Uh, it opens uh, with him stealing her purse that's filled with candlesticks she wanted to uh, use to sell to pay for her rent. Uh, the doctor that is caring for the boy recognizes the bag. Uh, it's returned to her and he kind of begs her and says he'll pay her if she'll take care of this young boy. And slowly but surely they tenuously form a bond. Um, and like in the first film, uh, there's a pact made and in this one it's that she doesn't want to uh, be hospitalized and of course she starts suffering from dementia, uh, starts reverting to some trauma that she suffered uh, as a young girl uh, in the concentration camp uh, and he has to go uh, yank her out of the hospital. Um, there's also a trans woman uh, that's featured, one of uh, Madame Rosa's neighbors who she has a strong bond with who ends up being part of this young boy's support network and also an Algerian shop owner uh, who uh, Momo begins to lean heavily on. Um, as much as I like the first film, which is very difficult to see because it hasn't been re-released, uh, this film, more than feeling like uh, Miss Rocky's uh, Madame Rosa, this felt a little more like Aki Karizmaki's uh, Le Havre um, in that uh, French port town uh, of a uh, Frenchman taking in a young um, refugee boy and hiding them from the authorities. Um, it's just, it's a pleasure to see Sophie Loren. I think she's kind of fun at first as this cranky uh, old woman taking care for this young boy. Uh, but actually, the scene stealer is Gaye as Momo. Uh, and I will say it's a credit to Ponty for not uh, going overboard with schmaltz as this scenario easily could have done. Um, because their, their bond actually feels, it feels very tenuous, it feels very real, um, and it is uh, quite poignant. Uh, it was it, the original. It, the material is based on a book by Roma, Roman Gary, who uh, was once married to Gene Seberg, uh, whose works, of course, uh, ended up uh, being starring vehicles for Seberg. Uh, his uh, text, "The Roots of Heaven," was uh, made by John Huston, starring Errol Flynn in one of his last roles. Uh, a, a film that is touched on a little bit in the last days of Robin Hood, uh, the film in which Kevin Kline plays Errol Flynn. Uh, while he's having an affair with the 17-year-old Beverly Adland. Uh, so there's lots of interesting connections to be made with this original material. Um, Momo does, in this version, have a fantasy uh, lioness that comes and comforts him from uh, where he's from, uh, although the CGI isn't really quite up to snuff, uh, and I almost wish they had done something else uh, within their budgetary realm that might have looked better. Uh, overall, I would give The Life Ahead 3 out of 5 stars. Hey, this is Eric from IonCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.